If you are under the age of 18 and watching this video, please stop now. This video content is not intended for you. Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I am back with a Try It Tuesday update. This is my second update for my series. The first update, uh, I shared with you all of the crafters who participated in my series on April 7th. So I'm back today to share with you all of those who participated April 21st. I had the best time watching those videos. I saw so many amazing craft projects. And the thing is my bucket list that I'm supposed to be checking off is starting to increase again because of those projects that I saw. Amazing, amazing creations. And I want to share that with you to make sure that you don't miss out on any of them. But before I start, I just uh, want you to be reminded that there are two more Tuesdays that I will be running the series and that's May 5th and May 19th. If you do a video response, use the hashtag try it Tuesday with Veronica. Okay. And as you can see here, these are projects that I've done so far on the first week I did rosettes and the second week I did tassels. So what I'm going to do is move this over. I don't want to hold you long and I am going to put the list here so you can see everyone who participated. All right, so I'm just going to talk briefly about each person. So to whet your appetite and get you over to their channels, watching their creations and the link that I will have in the description box for each person will be the link to their project that they created for Try It Tuesday. But don't just look at that project, look at their entire channel. Be inspired because you will be, I promise you will be. So make sure to do that. All right, the first one on the list is Paulette Fuller. I was so tickled by Paulette. And her name on YouTube is Paulette Fuller. These are all YouTube, na YouTube names that you see in front of you. Paulette created ink storage units because she said she just kept buying inks, buying inks, buying inks, and just had no way to store them. She actually created a little cabinet type and a little vertical cabinet type one. So you have to see that. But she was so funny because she's so laid back. And when she said, if I had known it was gonna be this easy, shoot, I would have made it before now. I was like, whoa, I was about on the floor. Funny, funny, funny. So please make sure you check her out. And these are in no particular order. I didn't have a list based on when their project, when their uh, video posted, it's just, these are the names. All right. And then simply Shantae, she pulled out her pan pastels. Now I think I've only seen maybe one, I know one person, maybe two who has used pan pastels on uh, the YT. So I was inspired by that. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And when I tell you she created some beautiful backgrounds and made cards with those backgrounds, absolutely gorgeous. So you have to check that out. And she used dyes to cut those backgrounds out. So that was an added piece. All right, and then we have Creating Life After 60, and that is Joyce. Joyce pulled out a tool. Joyce pulled out her one, two, three punch board and she made bows. Now I was truly inspired because I have that punch board and hadn't used it yet. So now she has bows in her stash to pull out whenever she needs uh, to have one for a project. And they are so adorable. Please check that out. Then we have uh, So Good All who is Audrey. She made the cutest keychain. You know, keychains were all the rage not that long ago. And all these dyes and things people were using to create them. Hers is adorable. And the image that she put on there is just so cute. So make sure you go by Audrey's channel. Happy Crafter, that is Lisa. Lisa 
created a mini bookshelf. She had been wanting to do one and it is absolutely amazing. Very sturdy construction. The paper she used is gorgeous. So make sure you check out her bookshelf. Sparkling Char, she did a recipe book. She's good at doing stuff like that. So make sure you go by her channel and check that recipe book out. It was so, so cute. And I know she used a tutorial to do it. So check it out and then you can check out what tutorial she used. All right, Fun Creations, that is Lucretia. And Lucretia, did, her title was You've Got Mail. So I'm sitting there wondering, okay, so where is this going? But she did um, a mailbox. She created a mailbox following May May Made It's tutorial. It was birthday themed. And then she included embellishments in there. She created cupcakes. She did butterflies, the whole birthday thing. It was so cute and so fun to look at. The colors were really, really pretty. Go by Fun Creations. Kim Possible. We are so glad she is back creating with us. She's been away for a minute, but she was back and she came back and joined my series. She created a traveler's notebook with rings. Now that's something I had not seen. Traveler's notebook with rings. She also created embellishments whenever she has scraps. She can't stand it. She has to create embellishments and they turned out so, so cute. Not only did she do that traveler's notebook with the rings and I forgot what size it was. I think it was like four and a half by eight, but then she made a smaller one, a companion piece. Check her out. All right. And then we have Faye who is relaxing scrap. Faye, I told her in the comments, she was a girl after my own heart. She did a mini album with all the bells and whistles. She had the flips, she had the folds, she had everything. And that die she used, I have it, hadn't pulled it out. So I am so inspired to pull it out at this point. That mini album was a true labor of love. It really, really was because she put a lot into it. I absolutely love it. So make sure you check out Faye's channel for her mini album. Betty not only did... Um, the project for the Tuesday, we actually did it. She did one in between that, in between the two Tuesdays. So you will see two links for uh, Betty's two videos. On one, she did pom-poms and she used the prettiest, softest blanket yarn. Those pom-poms are gorgeous. And of course you can use those on any project. You can hang them off a mini, hang them off a purse. You can use those in a number of ways. And she also um, had different sizes that she created. So make sure you check that out. Uh, and then the other video that she had, she made some loopsy daisy embellishments. Loopsy daisy embellishments. What are those you say? Go check it out. All right. And then we have Gift Diva, who is Lynn. And Lynn did something a little different, which I thought was pretty cool. She did a Cricut blade play. She has her Cricut and she wanted to just play around with the blades to see the types of cuts she could create. So if you have a Cricut and all those different blades, you need to check Lynn's channel out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Make sure to look at the description box Go to each person's channel, check out their video, and then check out their channel after you have subscribed to them. Okay? Thank you so, so much. I mean, it's all about us supporting each other. Happy crafting, everyone.